Hello guys and welcome back to my Everton, Everton career mode today. We are on episode number 5 and we start off with a game against Palace. A game that I would be expecting to win with the team that we do have. I do accidentally play Kone up front instead of Lukaku because last time Lukaku was injured. I do show some of the intro screens here so I don't do this for every game because it's a BPL match. I do forget to and I forget to do in the next game as well. And I also forgot to show you the lineup as well so I do apologise for that. But this episode is a little bit of a dodgy one. You'll see later on in the episode there's going to be a bit of a decision that I'm going to have to make. And I want you guys to kind of give me your feedback as well. I think it'll be a, a good change because as you'll see in the gameplay, you know, you, it'll start to unfold. But straight away, you know, Palace, I don't know why I'm so bad at this game. My defending on this game seems to be absolutely appalling at times. And I'm not too sure why because the game's not a hell of a lot different to FIFA 14, if I'm honest. You know, it's pretty much the same game. Almost just copy and pasted if you want. And for some reason, it just feels a lot more difficult to defend. You can see that. Like, what was that, honestly? And then missed another slide tackle there. You know, I just don't seem to be tackling enough. And I, the reason is, you give away a lot of penalties in this game, as we have seen in the past. You know, it's frustrating. And as you can see here, you know, Jagielka knocks him over. Um, uh, admittedly, that is a penalty. But I didn't ask him to run into him and knock him over. And that, again, is probably like the fifth penalty in this career mode so far. And, I mean, in my Manchester United one, we probably only conceded five and scored five in you know the whole 33 episodes of that career mode. check on that out on the channel if you still like these 14 videos but their striker Banan steps up there and he's obviously going to score that which is annoying so we're already 1-0 down to I'd say a team that are likely to get probably relegated from this division um, not being harsh to Palace but you know generally they are considered a weaker team and Everton should definitely be beating them I'm pretty sure they did in real life as well but yeah, you know, 1-0 down at half time, it's not the best, you know. And I, that's what I mean, is I'm really starting to struggle with this game. And you will see later on, I'm going to announce something that a lot of you probably will be a bit annoyed at. But I think it will be for the best and for the future of this series. Because if I'm honest with you, I don't really want to carry on with this series if it carries on like this, you know. And that's why I need to change the way it is. And what I'm just going to say, I want to change the difficulty from world class back to professional. Now... There's a lot of reasoning for this, and you'll see it, you know, look, again, a very sloppy goal to concede to put Palace 2-0 up. I, I'm struggling with world class to the point where I'm doing really badly, and I, there's two games in this episode, by the way. Didn't say that, but I'm really struggling. I'm not struggling to get through the defence. It's scoring and defending is my biggest issue on this game, and they're two of the most important things, you know, to get results, is to defend well and to score, and I'm struggling with both of them. So, at the end of this episode... I'd like you guys just to tell me whether you'd like me to. I think I will anyway, because if not, I just honestly cannot see myself playing this game anymore. It's really infuriating, you know, because it, I'm playing quite good football. I'm just not really managing to put it into the back of the net, which is a little bit disappointing, because obviously we need to be picking up three points in the league. By the end of this episode, you'll see how bad the league table is. And I'm kind of giving away results here, but, you know, we are playing poorly at the moment, and it's very worrying. You can see from the clips here that it's not the best, you know, I'm getting chances, I'm just not burying them. And by the way, what a brilliant corner from Leighton Bain to set up Gareth Barry there. He runs off celebrating. And look at the crazy celebrations they do for this. They, the team just go mental. And the thing is, I don't want to get sacked, you know. If we carry on like we've been recently, you know, not picking up enough points, we are going to get sacked. And I'd hate for that to happen because it happened in the Wigan one. And I know in previous career modes, I pretty much every career I've changed the, the difficulty from world class back to professional for an episode or two. I think just until the January transfer window, like I did in the Man United one, stick it on professional. I'll try and play as much as I can in my spare time. By the way, we lose that one 2-1. One. I'll try and play in my spare time, although I don't have much time at the moment because I'm at college, and try to get back to world class in the January transfer window. But we do come up against Aston Villa here in the Barclays Premier League. Another game that I really would like to win because we do need to pick up these three points. Otherwise, the job's out the window. And I don't know what I'd do if we got sacked because... I don't know if I would want to start another one. You know, getting sacked in the first couple of episodes would be very embarrassing. And this one, this crew, I was hoping would go on for like 50 to 100 episodes. So hopefully, if you guys are okay with it, we'll change the difficulty for a couple of episodes. And then we'll change it back and leave it like we did with the Man United one. Leave it back on world class for the remainder of the series. But you can see here in the Villa game, I was well, didn't start off too badly. Almost conceded, but I did get a chance there with Ross Barkley. And Villa here with Westwood on the attack. Um, coming down the wings here with Loughton. Decent young player. Loughton actually looks like a decent prospect for Villa. Doing quite well here to fight for my defenders. Look at that. You know, I need to go in for them slide tackles. The problem is if I miss it, you give away a penalty, a free kick. You know, the, the, the decisions are very harsh. And that, from Tim Howard, 
is starting to make me think that in the January chance window or the end of the season, we need to be replacing Tim Howard. His reflexes just aren't there for some reason. You know, he's very slow. Although he's an 83 rated keeper, which is a respectable rating, I think at the highest rating in the team, you know, he's he's just too slow. His speed just isn't there, and he's letting in a lot of sloppy goals. But Ross Barkley claws one back straight away with one of the overpowered. That wasn't a finesse shot, but what you can do is just literally tap it, and it just goes under the keeper every time and absolutely screws him over. And you'll see in this replay how stupid it really was that this went in. Didn't even even deserve to go in you know look at that sorry if my voice keeps cutting guys it's because Vegas is being very laggy at the moment for me for some reason but anyway moving on into the 50th minute now Barkley back gets the ball here tries a finesse shot and look at that for a save you know Guzan just jumps so unrealistically at times and that's another issue it's just the keepers and the shooting is fucked up on this game and look at that Tim Howard is a shit keeper he really is bad and I know it, part of it's my defending, but we do need a new keeper. You know, I can't be dealing with Tim Howard. He's very old, and I don't blame him. You know, he's a great keeper but in real life. But getting at that age, you know, especially for a keeper, you need him to be quick. And he's not quick off the line. He's slow about everything, and it causes us a lot of issues, which, you know, are unnecessary. But we get Morales here, cut inside, finesse, and we put it into the bottom right corner to make it 2 all in the 85th minute there, sorry. And hopefully that would have sealed us a point, but you know with FIFA, nothing's ever quite done. And uh, you know, this is an example of what FIFA is like for anyone who's never played it. There you go. Three minutes later, I went all ultra defensive, and yet Darren Bent, of all fucking players, I went, actually went park the bus. Darren Bloody Bent went and scored in the 90th minute practically. And I just could not believe that. That is heartbreaking to lose that. So next episode, guys, as long as you are okay with it, we will be changing the difficulty back to professional. I'm sorry that I have to do this. I kind of feel like you guys probably don't even want to watch me anymore because my, you know, my gameplay recently has been absolutely goddamn awful. But I'd like to keep this series coming daily, and the only way really to do that would be to do it on professional so hopefully that is all good as you can see here we replaced Kono back with Lukaku and save the team sheet so for next episode we are ready to go I'll probably stick to two games an episode for the minute it kind of makes it easier because I don't have very much time at the moment you know getting home late not enough time in the day really to make these videos but anyway thank you very much for watching guys I really do appreciate the support and I hope you enjoyed the episode regardless of the poor gameplay and you can see there we've won one drawn one and lost four if we get it five likes on this video as always that would be absolutely brilliant and if you haven't already subscribe to the channel there'll be a link down in the description for that as well and I will speak to you guys in the next episode of career mode